So, as we move further into report two, you're going to be analyzing this idea of moving from topic to questions to claims. And we talked a little bit about this when I was talking about report two. And I have a link here to analysis of graphic novel. And this can actually be found right under here. And, and it's really just some elements about searching through and doing analysis. And some of these questions you guys have seen before uh, because they were actually part of an analysis post I made. So really, there's not a lot here that we need to worry about. But for the purpose of this, what I did here was I tried to sort of deconstruct an example. And I used Flex Mentallo by Grant Morrison and Frank Quitely. And I did this kind of like by phases. And so the, what I chose to investigate and what I chose to work with was this idea of um, sort of a, a question. I started with a question, what, what, was the, what is the potential argument of this graphic novel? So I sort of worked off the idea of, if I already have a question, and I came up with this the idea that the primary argument uh, by Morrison appears to be promoting the, and that believing in superheroes is a means for us, humanity, to believe in ourselves and ascend to become higher versions of this. Now, once I performed a bit of analysis here, and this is where I kind of take a step back, and I try to sort of print this out in this idea of let's approach this. How did I get there? Okay. And so I ask these three little basic questions. What am I writing about? What don't you know or want to share with your audience reasons? Okay. And why do you want your reader to think the, the reader should know about that the reader should know about when they're dealing with this? And so I chose to know, name the graphic novel I'm writing about, which is Flex Mentel, Man of Muscle Mystery. Um, I wanted to show my audience that Morrison's real argument found within the story that anyone, anybody has the potential to be a superhero. And I want readers to know that so that they can appreciate the positive messages and enjoy the very intricate meta layered story. All right. Now, um, I'm sort of reverse engineering this here. But what I ended up doing here was sort of taking this idea and formulating a question. Okay, is Grant Morrison's primary argument that anybody has the potential to be a superhero found his work Flex Mental really a message people need to hear about? So I sort of took all these elements here and I used this to formulate a question that I'm going to try and answer. And now, how did I arrive here? So what I did here was I took those basic elements as I noted above. This idea of your topic, your reasons, and your significance. And I sort of worked on them here. Answer the question one, found his work Flex Mental, okay? This is what goes in the middle of my research question. And then I came back here and I asked the question of, you know, is primary argument. And then, of course, the, the idea that people need to hear about is significance. And so what I ended up doing was this is how I ended up creating what this is, which is my research question, which is basically this idea that, all right, is Grant Morrison's primary argument anybody, that anybody can be have the potential to be a superhero found in his work, Flex Mentallo, really a message people need to hear about now that's kind of long and yours doesn't need to be that long but this is how i got there phase three though is so my topic is this idea all right my topic is this idea that i'm working with flex mentale and i'm fascinated by the argument he's trying to make okay that's my topic my question is is this argument he's trying to make something that people need to know about and of course i'm being very explicit by naming the author probably should have named the artist too and i'm naming the work spelling that out now i need to turn that into a thesis statement now i do that by sort of flipping it like i've done and i've shown you guys previously grant morrison's primary argument that anybody has the potential to be a superhero found in his work flex mental is a message now all i did here was take the is from the beginning and move it over further into the end of the statement I could have said is not I could argue the end the end and now but I'm not done this is just the claim because is a message people need to hear about because and now I need to come up with reasons ultimately those reasons for part of my justification lead me down here to my final thesis statement Grant Morrison's primary argument that anybody has the potential to be a superhero found in his work flex mental is a message people need to hear about because it represents a positive message of inspiration uh, I'm sorry, aspiration and unlimited potential set against a real world today that stresses limitations. Now, I understand that this is an incredibly complex one here, but the basic principles break down like this. I started with a topic. The topic I derived from an analysis question, and that topic was 
they, there's I think there's an argument in this graphic novel. There's some message that the author is trying to communicate with me. All right, you could do this simply by looking at your graphic novel and saying, is there an important message here? Okay, what is that message? Whatever that message is, that's your topic. The next step is to take that topic and to ask a question about it. What I chose to do was to ask the question, is this argument something that other people should care about? Okay, and then once I did that, and I asked that question, I simply then inverted the question, moved the is back further, chose to take a side, is or is not, and then added reasons. Now, this is not something that's necessarily going to be evil, but this is what I want you to try your hand with when you're doing report two. So this is something we'll be working on into next week going forward. You just need to be giving it some thought, and some of our discussion forums next week will be asking you to sort of formulate some of these things so that I can sort of help you along the way. I know one of the discussion forums I want to do next week will very specifically ask you to show me your topic and your question so I can sort of help you shape it and get it where it needs to be, and then you can just go ahead and put it in report two.